It was a very strange day in Moscow, May 6, 2012. I came to photograph the opposition march of millions in downtown Moscow. It was happening just the day before Putin's come back to power and nobody really expected any police violence. Many people were arrested, and afterwards one would think, that was it, Russian spring is over. But not everybody went home next day. People were wandering, trying to find a place where to set up a camp. By the middle of the night, they got it. It was next to a monument to somebody they've never heard of before, Kazakh poet Abay Kunanbaev. And so naturally, the improvised camp called itself Occupy Abai. There were no tents because it's not allowed by the Moscow authorities. The maximum people would allow themselves is to have a yoga mat to sit on. And there was no kitchen, so people were eating cakes and sausages. It lasted for 10 days. People would be having lectures, people would be having performances, people would meet each other and fall in love, and only a few die-hard protesters would stay overnight. There was definitely one thing missing. The whole Occupy didn't look as a political event at all. Instead, it looked more like a summer camp. The police evicted the camp very smoothly. It happened just around the sunrise time when all the journalists were sleeping, tired of 10 days of nothing really happening, people just sitting around the monument. To a foreign eye, the Occupy by might look completely insignificant. What are we talking about? It was just a few hundred people over there. But for a country where for 20 years people almost did not express their political views at all, it's a big step. Somebody was actually joking that one day those conceived that the Occupy will make the new revolution in Russia. <laughs> <laughs>